You're telling me that this phone doesn't have flash on it when it's facing me? What the heck? <sighs> this is my first attempt at making uh, an uncut video. No edits, nothing. I'm just going to speak my mind. I need to go to sleep because I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh, and also, I've been really stressed because there's a lot of stuff on my plate. School and... Um, some other like custody stuff um work full-time too school part-time online um and then the temptations of trying to turn to the temptations of my flesh wanting to turn to unhealthy coping mechanisms to try to feel better and i was just about to start and then i was like nope uh so just to be completely real there because God doesn't want me to do that. And thankfully, like, there was a time where it was just, like, all the time. And I don't think I was truly saved at that point in time. But now, like, I'm a child of God. You know, I've been crucified through Christ. It is no longer I who live. Christ lives within me. Oh, the life I live in the flesh, I now live in the Son of God. Through the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20. And just, like, feel free to, like, look that up, too. Because, uh that's a great way to like fight temptation, honestly. I mean, the sword's there for a reason. The sword represents the word. The word is truth. And God gave that to us as a weapon and the rest of the full armor of God. Therefore, put on the full armor of God. Um, I don't know how one of these is supposed to go because it feels like I'm just rambling now. But at the same time, the purpose of this is to keep it raw and real, non-edited and candid. So yeah, there's the candency, the, there's the honesty there, clinging on to Christ, clinging on to God instead, because I do not want to go down that road again of unhealthy coping mechanisms and, you know, yeah, I'll just say it, you know, like the stuff that you can view on your phone, you know, through the lust of the flesh. So yeah. Um, sexual sin it'll destroy you and I need to make another video on that but right now what's coming to mind is bro y'all have no idea no it really will destroy you and I think maybe someday soon I'll share my own personal testimony on that because you know I still struggle with it and it's still a battle and I know some people that are fully delivered from it where like they just like God somehow like, well, I shouldn't say somehow like because he's God, but God literally made it so that like they just are not batting an eye, like not even being tempted by sexual sin. And sometimes I'm like, what is that possible? But like you hear it and you're like, no, I mean, he's God though. So that can happen. And then there's those of us that, you know, may not be engaging in it but struggle with it like heavily. Am I white knuckling it? I don't know, God, am I? Am I not? Am I relying on you as I should be? Or is there like definitely days where I'm simply just white knuckling all these temptations here and there? Because then that's idolatry too, because you're idolizing it and you're worshiping it. You're not worshiping God. And then. And then you do it enough times in open rebellion and you have to start asking yourself. I'm asking myself sometimes too, for sure. Um, there's days where, I mean, we have to test the spirits and we have to like question our faith, work out our faith through fear and trembling. But then there's also um, understanding that it's not works. It's faith equals the, um, you out of the joy in, for Christ and who he is and the love for God equals your faith equals doing works and turns into you just joyously doing those works and you bearing fruit and you will know them by their fruit um so yeah this video is kind of like all over the place i don't really know how to do these raw videos like these just unedited things but that's the goal here that's the theme of one of these <laughs> Oh my gosh, the lighting in this is like bad, but like, yeah, I mean, praise God.
Praise God, honestly. Praise God because I just made a video like bleh, a video like this instead. Should I upload this? Maybe I should. Yeah, I probably should. It's candid. It's raw. It's real. Like some experiences that me sharing some experiences that I've been through. Not really. I, I was kind of vague, but like as far as like what was going on right before this and how I was being tempted, like literally right before this video. Um, and I'm trying not to look at it like through the standpoint of like trying to keep my streak going. Although is that like godly? trying to keep my streak going i mean if it's it's for the glory of god you know i don't want to bring attention to myself so i mean god really has been carrying me through it so yeah and work tomorrow 5 30 in the morning 12 hour shift then i have to upload some piano stuff three classical sonatas i have to upload three classical sonatas on the piano well, I already uploaded them today, but I think the student portal for this school that I'm trying to go to allows us to like upload them, but then not f um, submit them officially and make it final. That way that they're just sitting there in the site and then if we run out of time, um, then they'll just automatically submit, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I think they're mostly done, but like I just can't play in full speed. And maybe it's because I haven't gotten enough sleep because I only slept like five and a half hours last night as well. Yeah. And then the work schedule. It's like two days on, two days off, going back and forth. Two weeks days, two weeks nights. It's a crazy work schedule. And I'm trying to figure out like, God, when am I supposed to leave? I know I'm probably supposed to leave this job, but when? I don't know. That's something I need to pray about and figure out too. Yeah. And then my daughter came to mind too. So if y'all didn't know, I think I've uploaded about her before, but I have a two-year-old daughter. Her name is Natalia Rosalina Gomez. She was born, well, I don't think that's really important. Like not for, not. it's important, but not like for y'all to know necessarily. Maybe I'll probably share it someday. Um, why did I share a full name? Well, y'all don't know her date of birth, so y'all couldn't really find her. But, um, <laughs> but then I'm basically kind of saying that, like, I don't trust y'all. Well, I mean, it's good to be careful because I don't know everybody on the internet, so...